Welcome back to the CryptoBot channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now, Bitcoin is on the edge of a massive breakout, while Ethereum is running into short-term resistance, which I'll talk about later in the video, so definitely watch to the end. First of all, just giving you a really quick update here on the four-day Bitcoin chart. And right now, as I'm recording this video, the price of Bitcoin is still running into this important horizontal resistance, which I have here sitting at around 30.5K. And now this line of resistance is simply based on these previous candle closes. But if you're looking at the top of this candle wick right here at the high that we saw during April this year, obviously that is sitting closer to $31,000. So basically, we need to see a confirmed breakout above around 30.5k to 31k with some strong confirmation such as a weekly candle close for example above around 31k in order to confirm the breakout above this significant resistance and if that happens that would set up a massive bullish price target for this cup and handle pattern and now either way even though the price of bitcoin has not yet confirmed a breakout above this resistance technically we're still with Within this larger multi-month long bullish trend, which I've been saying since the very beginning of this year, if you're looking at the super trend indicator, this is still in the green, telling us that obviously we're still in a larger bullish trend, forming higher lows and higher highs on the larger timeframes. And now if you're taking a look at the daily Bitcoin chart, once again, we're still running into this important resistance that I just mentioned after that breakout a few days ago above this descending line of resistance, which is now sitting at around 26 6.7k and that should now be acting as new support in case we actually see a further rejection from this resistance and as for some other short-term support i would also expect support around this previous high which was previous resistance now acting as new support sitting at approximately 28,000. and now if you're taking a look at the daily bitcoin price oscillators obviously the daily bitcoin macd is showing quite a bit of bullish momentum as of right now which once again, is pointing towards this larger bullish trend, simply continuing with another leg to the upside, as we have seen over the last few days, and as we're likely continuing to see over the coming weeks. But obviously, with that being said, even in a larger bullish trend, we can experience shorter term bearish price action. So it is important to understand that just because we're in a bullish trend, we do not see 100% bullish price action. And from time to time, it's very normal to see shorter term cool offs or even short-term corrections before continuing higher later on and in fact that's likely what we're about to see perhaps in the shorter term as in just talking about the next few days because if you're looking at the daily bitcoin rsi obviously as of right now this is sitting in overbought territories as i also mentioned in my last video this has now been confirmed and obviously if you simply look at the last few times where the daily bitcoin rsi entered into overbought territories it basically meant that we were getting very close to a local high in the price of Bitcoin, or we were basically at a local high in the price of Bitcoin. And now, once again, as I said earlier, this does not mean the larger bullish trend is over, because once again, what it does mean is just in the shorter term, we're due to see a bit of a cool off in the price of Bitcoin, because basically we're overheated in the short term. We went too far to the upside too quickly, and we need a little bit of time to cool off before potentially heading higher later on kind of like what we saw at some of these previous times obviously this first example we saw a short-term pullback before continuing higher later on this second example we just saw a sideways consolidation for one to two weeks before continuing higher later on and then obviously this third example we saw more of a short-term bearish trend that lasted for one to two months before eventually continuing higher to where we are right now now, obviously, it's possible we could see a little bit more short-term bullish price action. But with that being said, the room to the upside in the shorter term is somewhat limited simply due to the daily Bitcoin RSI now sitting in overbought territories, telling us that we're due to see a bit of a cool off before potentially heading higher later on. And now, if we do ultimately head higher and confirm a breakout above this strong resistance at around 30.5K to 31K, then 
in that case, next I'll be looking towards around 37,000 because that is simply the next Fibonacci extension. When you're looking at the Fibonacci retracement tool from the pre-FTX collapse high back in November last year down to the bear market low, that brings out the Fibonacci extensions. The first Fibonacci extension is the 1618 Fibonacci extension, which is sitting at around 25.2K, which is exactly where we saw this high come into play. And then obviously from there, we saw a correction and then head higher later on in the larger bullish trend, all the way up to the next price target, the next Fibonacci extension, the 2618 Fibonacci extension, sitting at around 31.2K, which is pretty much exactly where we saw this high come into play. And then obviously from there, we saw that correction. And now we're potentially heading higher on this next leg to the upsides. And so once again, all we need to see is a confirmed breakout above this level at approximately 31,000 in order to potentially see the next leg to the upside, potentially up towards this next Fibonacci extension, the 3618 Fibonacci extension, which is sitting more specifically at around 37.2K. And if you measure that movement from around 31,000 to around 37,000, that's about a 19 to 20% move to the upside that could potentially come next after a bit of a short-term cool-off and obviously after we actually see a confirmed breakout back above 31,000. And now just before getting into the Ethereum part of this video, I'll quickly remind you that there's currently only a week to go for this exclusive 1,000 USDT airdrop that's happening over at Bybit. And so for those of you who are trading anyway, it might be worth checking this out for up to 1,000 USDT. And I'll make sure to leave a link to this in the description down below, which will also have all of the details once again in the description and also in the pinned comment. But anyway, now getting into the Ethereum part of this video, this is on the daily ETH to US dollar chart. And right now, the price of ETH is still trading above this important descending line of resistance, which was sitting at around 1820 to 1830, which should now be acting as new support in case we see a bit of a pullback. And we also have this previous area of resistance just here, which was also acting as support back here, which should now act as new support again in between around 1770 to 1820. Once again, in case we see a bit of a pullback. And now obviously in terms of the trend at play right now, nothing has really changed over the last one day. So if you want to know more about these trends, then take a look at my last video on the channel. And the same goes for the daily Ethereum price oscillators, because as of right now, the daily Ethereum MACD is still showing bullish momentum as of right now, while the daily Ethereum RSI technically still has some more room to the upside after we bounced from those oversold territories close to a week ago. And so once again, as of right now, the daily Ethereum price oscillators are simply looking more bullish than bearish. But with that being said, if you're zooming into the shorter term, this is on the six hour ETH to US dollar chart. And obviously over the last one day or so, we have now seen a rejection from this short term resistance sitting in between around 1.9K to 1930. So at least in the immediate short term, that is definitely the area of resistance to pay attention to and the area of resistance for the bulls to break above in order to continue any higher. And now if we do end up seeing a confirmed breakout above around 1930 to 1940, then in that case, looking at the Fibonacci retracement tool, once again, we have this golden pocket, the most important Fibonacci level sitting in between around 1930 to 1940. But if we see a confirmed breakout above that short-term resistance, then in that case, we have the 78.6% Fibonacci level sitting at around 2020, also acting as resistance, which is exactly where this previous height came into play. And if we see a confirmed breakout above 2020, then in that case, I'd be targeting towards these previous highs, which are sitting at just above 2.1K. And so once again, in the shorter term, the trend is still looking more bullish than bearish. It's just as of right now, we're due to see a bit of a cool off because the price not only ran into resistance, but if you're looking at the six hour Ethereum RSI, this recently entered into overbought territories, which once again means the price went too far to the upside too quickly. And we were due to see a bit of a cool off to help reset this RSI, which can actually give us some more room to the upside later on. And now if you want to know how to maximize your profits in crypto, no matter if the price is going to the upside, to the downside, or simply chopping around sideways, then make sure to watch these videos popping up.
up right here on your screen. The video in the top left shows you how to make money no matter if the price is bullish, bearish, or neutral. And the video in the bottom left shows you how to make money very easily in a sideways price range. But anyway, that's everything that I have to say for today. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.